on today's quick little tech tip, we're gonna talk about the recalibration procedure for a brake pedal position sensor on a GM truck. Now today we're working on a 2015 Tahoe and we've replaced the brake pedal position sensor. And uh, it's a relatively straightforward procedure. You know, it, there's not a whole lot to it, but this last step, the calibration, is one that quite often technicians overlook and where it gives them problems when it comes to the start stop system, uh, the, the start function. And so we need to make sure that the control module understands that we've replaced the component and that we've got a new value in there. So if we look at the scan tool here, I'm gonna I'm pull up the control unit screen and I'm gonna click on body control module. Now again, a lot of technicians are tempted to go to the electronic brake control module. There's a pressure switch calibration test in there, but we wanna be in the body control module. So I'm gonna select body control module. I've already got the key on in the vehicle and I've got the parking brake applied. So now that we're in body control module, I'm gonna select special functions. And you'll notice right on the top here is brake pedal position sensor learn. So I will set that, I will select that, then it says the test will learn the released position of the brake pedal. Apply the parking brake, we've already done that. Now I'm gonna hit continue to start it. So you'll notice that it says brake pedal sensor learned value released position, yes, but we still need to relearn it here. So I hit the learn button. It's kind of grayed out while it's thinking. And just like that, it's done the relearn. Now I can escape. I can exit the procedure here. I'm gonna go back to the vehicle and I can power the vehicle off. But at this point, I'm confident that I've done the relearn procedure here. Again, failure to do this might have some negative consequences with the start stop system. Uh, as well as some other features in the vehicle might be disabled because the learned value of the new switch might be slightly different than the learned value of the previous switch. Hopefully now you understand why this procedure is so critical after re replacing the brake pedal position sensor.